Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle and I am here today with a project share for Diamond Eyes. Before I share my project, I do want to remind you guys that the promo code that I have is still good. So if you're not aware of the promo code, if you visit www.diamondeyes.com and you place a $35 order or more, and you use this promo code that I'm showing on the screen right now, thanks Michelle, all lowercase letters, all one word, you will receive 10% off your order plus free shipping. And that also includes international shoppers as well. So definitely take advantage of this promo code. Like I've said in previous videos, I don't know how much longer this is going to last and it's a really, really good deal. So definitely take advantage of that. So. I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to show you the project that I made using the Large Gear Mini Album Die from Diamond Dies. I actually made a mini album. So, first of all, before I show you the mini album, in case you guys are wanting to know what kind of paper I used, um, the paper that I used is from momentum and I purchased it at um, Tuesday morning and it's that gear paper that a lot of people were getting so it's this paper right here it's a really nice paper it's double sided and um, it's you know pretty heavyweight and it's kind of got like a texture feel to it too so really nice paper so this is the album that I used. I'm going to move it out of the way for just a moment. And I'm going to show you the dies that I used to make this album. Okay, first of all, like I said, I used the Large Gear Mini Album die, which is this one right here. And this is a very large die. Let's see, I'll tell you how big this mini album is. I think it's about five and a half by five and a half. Um... Yeah, it's about five and a half. So it's about five and a half inches. So really, really good size die. And it cut through chipboard really, really nicely. Of course, I used the thin chipboard. Um, the thicker chipboard, I've tried it and doesn't really want to cut through that so well. It'll emboss it, you know, which is kind of a neat look. But your really, really thick chipboard, uh, not so much. So... I usually use the thin chip board anyway. That's, you know, usually what I have laying around. So, uh, not a problem with me because I decorate both sides with patterned paper anyway. So, not a big deal. So, these are the other dies that I used. I used the mini must haves die. I used the fern branch. I used the Nature's Flourish, the Small Monarch Butterflies, the Steampunk Gear Set, the Realistic Rose, and the Nesting Circle Set. And I also used the Fancy Flowers, and I forgot to grab that one. So when I get to that on the um, book, I'll be sure to point that out. So let's get to the mini album. I thought it turned out really, really cute. I used some textures and stuff. So first of all, what I did is I cut, the, like I said, I cut the, uh, chip, or, bleh, the mini album out of chipboard. And I covered it with the patterned paper. And then I cut the top layer of the album out of chipboard and I painted it and um, I used several different colors of paint. Um, I used a lot of the folk art metallic paints and um, what I did is I painted, you know, just like uh, mixed the different colors. I used like coppers and golds and um, browns and... Um, like patina colors and just mix them all up 
And then I took um, some bead gel and I put some bead gel in there to give it some texture. So hopefully, I don't know, I'll bring it up here a little bit closer. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some of that texture of the bean gel on there. So, um, I did that, and then um, I actually layered two, I think I layered two pieces of chipboard together to kind of give it a little more dimension. So, um, of this piece right here, the top layer, I layered two pieces of chipboard together for that. Just to give it a little bit of more dimension and stuff. And then um, these here are the steampunk gears. These three right here. And then there's two over here tucked away under this flower. And again, I just used um, the paints that I used on this one. And I used some bead gel again. And then I also sprayed these with uh, my Heidi uh, Swap uh I think I used the bronze and the black velvet sprays. So, that's there. And then, this is just a little flower from um, a package of Hobby Lobby flowers. And then, this is a little uh, metal piece that I had in my stash. And then, I put a little flower that um, I got from Archana on Facebook. Um, I ordered some flowers from her a while back. And this is one of the flowers. Uh, this butterfly and actually the title, The Everlasting, that's some of the new items in the um, $2 aisles at Michael's. So, really liked how those looked on here. And then um, I just typed out the word memories on my computer, printed it out, and then cut it out and um, inked it with the black soot, which everything's inked with uh, Tim Holtz black soot. And then I binded this with some brads, and I actually got this binding technique from Renee, who is also on the design team. Her um, name is the Green Flamingo, and she did a really super cute little boy mini using this gear album, and I really liked the binding technique that she used, so I really wanted to try it. And Renee, I know that I way overthunk this because I was so confused at which way to put papers and oh it it was crazy I you know my brain's foggy anyway it has been for several months and uh, just for some reason I was just way overthinking this project I know I was because Renee said it was really easy to do and uh, for some reason, it just was not working for me easy. Um, but in the long, you know, in the end, I really liked how it came out. And I liked how it was binded and stuff. I thought it was really a neat way to bind an album. So what it does is it actually flips out. And then you have this page here. And this one says Moments, which I... Um, printed out on my computer and then up here is where I use the fern leaf and the realistic rose and again I just inked everything with black soot and um, I used my little gel pen to, for the little white uh, center there and then this is one of the circles from uh, the nesting circles so the nesting circles work really great with this album so that's that one so you can put a picture there okay so then this one here real simple again and it says for our love forever and ever and uh, this one here I actually got this idea from Leone uh, who's my passion for paper who's also on our design team um, she shared that one of the um, uh, dies in the uh, steampunk gears collection of dies you can actually use it as a bottle cap which I thought was really really neat and I'm trying to find that die right here so I can show you 
Okay. So I'm not finding the um actual die, but I'm thinking it was our uh, I'm thinking it was this one here. I'm thinking it was that one. It was either that one or uh, one of them was missing from here, which is probably over here to the side that fell off. But anyway, um, she used that as like a bottle cap. It looks like a bottle cap when you uh, put your little uh, circle tiles on top of there. So I really liked that idea. So I used that in this little album. See, it's really neat how it folds out and stuff. So, this one here, that folds over like that. And you have the little birds from the Mini Must Have set. And this says, uh, remember this. And then it flips up and it's just a little booklet that you can pull out. You can do some journaling. And then behind it, I've used some little luggage tags from, um, a die that I have so I've got two of those in here that you can use for journaling or of course you can put a picture in there and put a picture in there so really cute and then on this back page it's hard to get all this in the uh, camera um, on the back page I use the uh, ne uh, nesting labels which I forgot to show those too and the banners. I don't believe I showed either one of those in the um, um, dies that I used. But yeah, I used the uh, nesting banner set and the nesting um, label set for diamond dies. And then this is the circle die. And then down here it says uh, preserving the past. So you can put a picture there. You can do some journaling. Whatever you want. So then... You fold this back up, and then you turn it around, and that's the back. That'll be the back, so it will lay. I didn't do anything to that page, so it'll lay flat. So, but you turn it around, and it flips out again. Okay, let's see. That's the best way to show this. <laughs> okay, I'll get this way. Okay, so it flips out like this, and then you have this page here that says Happily Ever After, and it's got the Monarch Butterflies, uh, the small ones from Diamond Dyes, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but these have shimmer to them, and what I actually used on there, it looks like stickles, but I actually used um, some uh, clear nail polish that had a little bit of sparkle in it. And it gives you the same exact effect of um, as Stickles does. So I really liked that. I thought I'd try that. Because I had some nail polish in my stash. Um, then on this page here, you just have the nesting circles here. And then um, the banners here. And then these lift up so you can tuck your picture up under there. And then here we have this page here which again I use the nesting circles and the banner set and then here's some more of the steampunk gears and on these I use some more of my nail polishes and I had some that had like some chunky glitter in them and stuff so I used those and then I sprayed them with my Heidi Swap um, sprays again in the black velvet and the bronze. And then that goes there. And then here is the last page and it says treasure down here. And again I use the nature's flourish and this is where I use the fancy flowers. And I've got those over here. And then I use my little gel pen um, to put the little centers to dot the little centers and stuff. So that's it. It's a really super cute little mini um, with lots and lots of uh, places for both pictures and journaling. And I think it's just really, really cute. I really like this binding technique, Renee. Um, 
now that I've done one, I could probably do another one, and it'll probably, you know, I'll probably do it a lot quicker and stuff, but, um, if you came up with this binding technique on your own, Renee, I, uh, kudos to you, because like I said, I had to watch your video over and over and over, I mean, I would like, watch it and hit, um, uh, rewind and watch it again and rewind and watch it again different spots and stuff to see how the pages went and everything and I was sitting there thinking my goodness if she came up with this technique on her own um how in the world did she do it because there's absolutely no way I could have come up with something like this but I really really do like this technique uh, of binding and um I'm usually one that likes to have my albums chunky and stuff and uh this prevented me from doing that and I really like how it worked I mean you know this is really cute it's a cute little brag book um you could actually put this in your purse and take it with you and stuff you know if you wanted to um because you know it's relatively flat and uh so I really like that or of course you could you know sit it on your uh table or you know your desk or shelf or whatever and use it for display so just really really thought it was cute so this is my project and i hope you like it again check out diamond eyes at www.diamondeyes.com don't forget to use my promo code so you'll get that extra 10 percent off and free shipping if you spend over 35 dollars and I also wanted to let you guys know that I will be placing this uh, mini album up in my Etsy store. So I will have the link down below. So definitely check that out too as well if you're interested in purchasing this. And um, I also have my Mason Jar mini album uh, in the Etsy store as well um, available for purchase. So definitely check that out. And hopefully I will be back in the next uh, few days or so with some more projects for Diamond Eyes. Um, I actually have a couple of home decor projects that I've done um, as well that I'm going to be sharing here in the next day or so. So definitely keep your eye out for that. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.